wait is over guys. The moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is. Welcome back to another video. Chances are if you've clicked on this video, you have been waiting around for this announcement. Or if this is your first time seeing me, then you have no idea what I'm referencing. But either way, so happy you're here. Today, I'm finally announcing what my next step is, where I will be headed for my next contract. And before I get into it, I just wanna apologize for building up the anticipation so much. I really didn't plan on waiting this long to announce it. The last couple months on board were just chaos, pure chaos. We were in reblock almost every single day, like we were in a different reblock. So we were either doing the show in a reblock or we were on the ice rehearsing a new reblock for the next show day. And I was also just trying to keep up with my normal uploads and filming life and just balancing everything. So it's been a crazy couple months and I'm finally home as you can see. But I know you guys have been waiting around for this announcement for a really long time. So I just wanna say sorry for the delay. I really didn't mean to make it this much of a dramatic build up. <laughs> for anyone who needs it, just a little refresher. I am a professional figure skater and I work on board a cruise ship. I've been working with Royal Caribbean for the past three years. So I did just come home like a week and a half ago from my last contract, which was my third on Voyager of the Seas. I've also worked on Allure and Adventure. The question that everyone has been asking me, what ship am I headed to next? Drum roll, please. So, I will be headed to Wonder of the Seas for my fourth contract with Royal Caribbean and I am so excited to be finally sharing that information with you. I feel like some of you kind of suspected this or hoped that it would be Wonder just because it is the newest ship out. So I am very excited that I get to be going on Wonder of the Seas and I will be part of Ice Cast 3 on Wonder, so that is quite a big deal and I'm really looking forward to it. To be honest, I don't know the theme of the show. I have not even seen the show yet. I've just seen pictures of some of the costumes, so I don't know my track. I don't know the show. I don't know what music's involved in it. Um, so it's gonna be quite a bit of a surprise for me, but I wanna keep it that way because I know I can look online and watch it on YouTube, but feel like it might be more fun if I just keep it a surprise for myself. So I have actually worked on an Oasis class before. My first contract was on the Allure of the Seas and that is an Oasis class ship. So I am going back after like three years and it's gonna be a bit of a shock to the system I think because my last two contracts were on a Voyager class ship which is significantly smaller. I feel extremely grateful and honored that I get to be part of the third ice cast on Wonder and to be part of a brand new ship. As of right now, I do not know anyone that's going to be in the cast with me, but because the skating world is so small, chances are I'm gonna probably know at least one person or at least know of somebody. My previous ship was over 20 years old, so to be on a ship that's now only like a year old is going to be insane. I'm gonna have so much fun exploring the ship and of course I'm gonna bring you guys along for all the adventures, for the install process and just life on board and in the ports. So I am meant to sign on Voyager on March 5th, I wanna say. At least that's the date as of right now. Things can always change, but as of right now, I'm supposed to sign on the beginning of March and that means that I have a few months of rest on land before that. So. So I did mention that I am doing a show in Florida for a couple weeks. So I'm going to head there for the month of January and then I'll be back home in Buffalo for the entire month of February, which I'm really looking forward to. So I can rest my body up a little more and prepare for wonder. This contract will be shorter than my last one because my last one ended up being about nine months, nine and a half months. Um, so I will be signing off in the fall of 2023. That is crazy easy to think. It seems so far away, but I feel like it's just gonna fly by. So I'm definitely not gonna be on board quite as long as my last two contracts. Those were very lengthy, but it will still be a good chunk of time. The itinerary for Wonder while I am on board is the Eastern and Western Caribbean. So we are gonna go to most ports that I have already been to. So just off the top of my head, I know we're going to St. Martin, St. Thomas, St. Kitts, 
Coco Cay, I think we go to Labadee, and I think we're going to Jamaica and Honduras. I have never been to Honduras, so that will be a new port for me and I'm really excited. To be honest, I love the Caribbean. I love the heat, the sun, the beach, all of it. I could just lay on a beach, read my Kindle, and be happy as a clam. So I'm really looking forward to saving my money this contract because the last contract I was in Europe and I definitely, I definitely treated myself. So this will be a good saving contract and I'm still gonna really enjoy these ports. I did have you guys send in some questions a while back and I wanna go through and answer some of the most common ones. Okay, I got quite a few questions about my boyfriend, if he's gonna be on the contract with me. As of right now, he does not have a contract for Wonder, but he can't request a ship until he signs off his current contract. So once he signs off Voyager, he's going to put in a request and hopefully he will be joining me. But as of right now, I have no information on that. What port are you most excited for? I'd say the port I'm most excited for is Honduras or like Rotan because I haven't been there before. And from photos that I've seen online, it looks gorgeous. So that's definitely the port that I'm looking most forward to. Did you get a choice between itineraries and or ships? I've mentioned before, you can technically request a ship. I did not request Wonder. My boss offered Wonder to me based on what she thought would be a good fit for me and also the timeline of when I wanted to go back to ships. I didn't want to rush back to ships because I've been on board for so long. It kind of feels like I've been on board for like a year and a half straight since the break in between the last two contracts was so short. So. I did want a little bit of longer time on land and this ended up just being the perfect timing for me. Will any of your Cast 30 be joining you? Unfortunately, no, no one from Cast 30 will be joining. And as of right now, no one from my Cast 31 as well because they sign off Voyager in April, I think. So I'll already be on Wonder by then. Did you audition for a specific role on a ship again? If not, how was your new contract assigned? So like I said, it was pretty much based on the timeline I wanted. I did not audition this time for a specific solo. If you are a newer subscriber, I did audition for the Sun Solo on Voyager, so that is how I got the ship. It was partially because of the show and partially because of the itinerary that I wanted that contract so badly, and I'm forever grateful this was the most epic contract ever. So for Wonder, I'm just going with the flow and whatever so long assigned to we're going with it can anyone on the ice cast be an ice captain or is there a certain requirement is this something you would want to do in the future so for ice captain basically you have to put a request in or ask to be ice captain with our boss she ultimately determines who is going to be ice captain of the contract and i think the factors that she bases it off of is responsibility um, work ethic and also time with the company so if you've been with the company for a while and she really values you in the company then I think that would help you to become ice captain for me personally right now I don't have any interest in being an ice captain just because it is so much extra work and that would be time taken away from my YouTube however if I was ask to be ice captain I definitely would consider it because I think it would be a really good challenge and a really good learning experience so yeah it's definitely not off the table but I'm not seeking it out at this time how long into your current contract did you get asked to do another one to be honest this time around I waited a little bit longer I want to say I got this contract in the end of July so I've known about this for quite a while so yeah, it can really be at any time. I know some people get contracts like at the very end. Sometimes they get it halfway through, so it really depends. For me, I got this contract five months into the contract, but I did not mention anything sooner. Are there any benefits you get after having done three contracts that a person is not able to get during their first few contracts? Not necessarily. I think the only thing you really can kind of do is request a specific ship. That's probably the main difference but again you can always ask for something it doesn't hurt to try you'll never know if you don't try <laughs> how much longer do you see yourself working on cruise ships what could be the next move should you decide to stop cruise life now that i'm getting older not that i'm old by any means but now that i'm you know getting up there slowly i'm in my mid-20s I've been thinking a lot more about long term and like the future. I love my job so much. I love performing on the ship and for the guests and getting to travel with the ship. 
However, living conditions on the ship are just really not for me anymore. I don't love living in a tiny room. It is very difficult to get the nutrients you need in the mess, which is definitely a struggle and frustrating. And I also love to eat, so to not have good food is, is difficult. Don't get me wrong, there are so, so, so many perks to working on the ship, but it's definitely not a long-term situation for me. As of right now, I don't really know, but I do know that I want to try other endeavors as well. So if there's other land shows or tours that I can do, I definitely want to try them because I don't see myself stopping skating for quite a while. Another avenue I can go with skating once I am done performing as I could become an installer for the shows on board. So basically I would come on board for three weeks and help the cast do the handover and learn the show and open the show. That would be something I'm really interested in. That is way, way, way down the line, um, but there is options. I can also coach and also I do have other avenues that I want to pursue as well outside of skating. So time will tell. Would you be interested in doing an Asia cruise? What will this current contract itinerary be? So I did mention the itinerary before, but I definitely would love to try an Asia contract. If that's ever an opportunity for me, I definitely will be taking it because it just seems unbelievable and an experience of a lifetime. I'm curious about ship life and if you find that there is a good balance of work slash life balance, or are you mostly spending t your time working? I feel very privileged in that I do have a good work-life balance on the ship. I know that's not the case for most of the other departments on board. It's just not realistic for us to do an ice show every hour of every day of the week. We already offer enough shows for everyone on board to see the show, so to do them like 24-7 doesn't really make sense. And of course I have other duties as well on board, but for me I do have a good chunk of me time so i use that for the gym which is also technically like a work hour but i enjoy the gym so that's a form of self-care for me i also use a lot of that free time to work on youtube and my editing and then of course i do allow time for socializing and just enjoying life depending on the ship you might have more free time less free time it just really depends on how busy you are the bigger ships tend to be more busy because you have more guests so you need to offer more all skates and more shows because it's just bigger. So I do anticipate that I will be working a lot more on Wonder. For my last question, let's end with a bang. Could you be signing on to the Icon of the Seas for 2024? Most likely no. <laughs> no, I have no information on that. The ship's not even built yet. There is going to be skating on Icon and it's not called Studio B, it's called something else. But it's a circular ice which is going to be very interesting. I have not heard anything about that. I have not been asked to go there. The schedule potentially could line up but I'm going to just take it one day at a time. So we're going to focus on this next contract first. So there you have it guys. Wonder 2023. Hopefully see you there. I'm trying to work on getting like a referral link or some kind of affiliate code so that you guys can book through a link that might give me commission. That would be exciting. Uh, I don't know if anything is going to come of that. I am trying but I don't I don't see it happening, but never say never. We're gonna manifest it. If I do end up getting a referral code or anything like that, I will of course share that with you guys. But if any of you are coming to Wonder in 2023, please let me know. I would love to see you. This community has been so incredible and I've been able to meet so many of you on different ships that I've worked on. So just thank you for everything you've done for me. You've really changed my life and I never thought I would be at this point. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Like, thank you so, so, so much. And I would love to see you on Wonder if you are already gonna be there or if you're looking to book a cruise, maybe this is your sign because Wonder looks insane. So you're definitely gonna have a good time. But thank you so much for watching. I really love you all to the moon and back. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and wonderful holiday season. We are almost to Christmas. So I'm gonna drink my coffee now and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.